Yes, it is a tutorial. We're going to make this little pom-pom from the scrappy yarn, hashtag scrappy pom-pom. And just for you to be aware, there are bigger pom-pom makers. I'm going to use the smaller one and you can put the pom-pom on the little hat. And this hat is going to be my next uh, tutorial. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and enjoy watching. I used approximately 11 grams to make this pom-pom, but because we're trimming the pom-pom, maybe have approximately 13 grams ready. These are my scraps and I like to use them. I know it's a big mess as you can see it now, but let's check that out this hat. This is also my finished object video, so maybe on the screen if you're interested to see how I made it. It's not the step-by-step -step tutorial, but I'm tell telling you what I actually used over here. And I use a pom-pom over here from the scraps. No yarn from this hat is in it. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty cute and I'm hoping it will give this hat a bit of color. I'm using pom-pom makers. First things first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to collect and gather pieces. It doesn't matter what length. I found a longer one over here, which I'm going to keep. That will be my binding yarn. This is not the same over here. Just keep on. Once you have a nice batch, put the pom-pom maker together. Once you have the batch together, you have pom-pom maker, you're going to put uh, these two together like this and wrap it around. Do not worry if it's, if the ends are not the way where they should be. Okay, like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the longer yarn and I'm just going to bind it. So basically when I leave it on the side, it's not going to fall <laughs> apart and like this. And I'm preparing the next one. Okay, I have another batch. I'm going to place it over here and wrap it around. I know it looks not the nicest, but believe me, it will end up pretty cool. So you'll, you'll make loads of mess of it, but have a longer one just to wrap it up. <clears throat> you don't have to use it all, you can leave it on the side. And you're making a thorn. We have a next one. Again, place and wrap around, find a longer yarn and just secure it. I made one side, now I need to make another side. See you in a sec. Okay, so that goes back into the bag. I have a little bag over here for things with the knots that I cut off um, and I'm just putting over here. Tiny little pieces that I'm not able to put them into the pom-pom because they're too short. And we will have bigger even mess because of this, I'll be cutting. But before I do that, I will need a yarn. Well, I took one of the two, three grams um, of leftovers I have. I'm going to cut a longer piece and I will use it, it for later on. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to close this, this section, and this, as you can see, over here, just put those two close. And we're going to cut around. We can put a tissue paper, just in case something Folds, you can gather it easier because loads of things will be falling down. Now check around, everything is cut. And as you can see, I still have a bit up here. So once we have it cut and this edge, edge exposed, I'm going to wrap the yarn around, leaving a longer end that I'll be putting inside the hat. I'm going to make a knot. Um, if you the best idea for this yarn would be something that has nylon in it or silk. Silk is quite good too. I was surprised once with the silk content. And I'll just basically, I'm not even making knots at the moment. I'm just doing half of the knot, I think, and pulling it tightly. Maybe now I'll do a knot. And again, all the way around. I like to do it a few times 
because remember otherwise if it's too loose those little pieces will be falling off so it has to be very very tight as tight as you can okay perfect once that's done we can remove pom pom makers we just open it up and here is our pom pom and as you can see it does not look cute although you're going for this look a little bit scrappy but we're going to trim it a little bit so i'm holding by the yarn making sure i'm not going to cut it if it happens don't worry just thread another yarn and just pull it through a few times through the pom-pom and i will be cutting from the bottom up trying to make a shape create a shape of the pom-pom don't do it too close first just those bits that they're sticking out okay before i finish completely i need to give it a rub to make sure that whatever has to fall it will fall although do not worry even if it's on the on the hat you can cut some pieces as you can see some of the bits are sticking out and now i will make the final cuts and shape it in the way I'm happy with it. Uh, it could be also like a training pom-pom for you if you have really good yarn and, and you don't want to use it straight away. You can definitely practice on this. So I'm going to gather all these pieces and put them into my bag for like stuffies and ornaments for the tree and anything. And before you may ask how much I used of scraps uh, over here i'm going to wait it for you now hopefully you can see it it's 10.9 over here so i would say if you weight your scraps on the weight scale uh, if you have 15 grams that'll be that'll be enough for uh, this size of a pom-pom okay let's put on So when you finish your hat, you have this little circle. What I like to do, I like to put the yarn, well, tapestry needle through the sides and pull it through. Now just to grab the pom-pom and try to go through this thickest, very hard to pull center of the pom-pom, make it tight and then put it back through. Also, you need to feel this center of the pom-pom. So it won't be easy. And then what I'll do, I just put it like this and I make a bow. Twice. So here it is. I hope you enjoy this one. See you next one. And if you're interested how to make this hat from the scratch, check the eye over here at the end or link down below. Enjoy.